In this video, I'll show you how to modify the number of floors, customize the floor to floor distance, determine entrances and designations, and improve performance. Let's get started! The first step is to launch the group and shaft configurator. You will find the configurator under the project tab. Go to the floor levels. Here you have the possibility to change the settings for the floors. After launching the configurator, you see the user interface. The first column contains the designation of the floors. You can increase the number of floors by clicking on the plus icon. You have the possibility to increase the floors one by one or directly by 10 if you have a high-res project, for example. To delete a floor, click on the trash can icon. In the next column, we see the level of the building floors. These are editable. You can also easily change the floor distances here via the floor to floor distance. To do this, check the box here and click in the edit area. You can automatically adjust the building levels by modifying the lowest building level value. At the bottom, you can set a default floor to floor distance for new floors. Now that the floor distances are set, we can also customize the headroom and the pit. This works just like the others. Click here in the area and enter the desired value. The same here at the bottom by the pit. After setting the dimensions, we can add rear entrances. Rear entrances can only be added if there are no components attached to the wall, such as rail brackets or the counterweight. The same for the side entrances. They are possible if a L-shaped car frame construction is used, which I will show you in a later video. To add rear entrances, check the box in the second row and select on which floors you want to have rear entrances. Sometimes there are half floors where the entrances are opposite, but 500mm apart in height. To do this, add a floor and set the floor to floor distance to 500mm. Then call these for example to A and to B and set the entrances correctly. Last but not least, I will briefly mention what the third column with the P is for. If you open it here, it says Performance. If you have a high-res project, you can select here which floors should be hidden to improve the performance. But I will go into that in more detail in a later video, which focuses on shaft groups and high-rise. Thanks for watching!